rooks. The first piece we are going to be learning about is the rook. When I say the word rook, I don't mean the little bird in the top left hand corner or a castle, even though I've heard it been called that many a times. No, the correct way to say it is rook, even though its shape does look like a castle. The rook always sits in the corner of the board. There are two black rooks and there are two white rooks. I always imagine the rook as an old wise man who is walking briskly down a straight road. He knows exactly where he's going so it doesn't detour from his path. That's how the rook moves, in straight lines, for as long as he wants. The rook moves forwards, backwards, left and to the right, vertically along the files of the chessboard and horizontally along the ranks of the chessboard. If the rook was sitting on the gold star of the black square of the chessboard, we could see that the rook could either move up one, two or three squares, down one, two, three or four squares, to the left one, two, three or four squares, or to the right one, two or three squares. However, the movement of a rook can be stopped by a piece. If it is your opponent's piece, you have an option to capture that piece. If it is your own piece, it blocks the path of the rook, as you cannot take your own piece in chess. If the red dot represented your opponent's piece, that means the rook could move down one square, two squares, or capture that piece on the third square. If it was your own piece, the rook could only move one or two squares down. If the red dot represents your own piece, how many squares can the rook move up, down, to the left and to the right? Pause this video now. That's right, one or two squares up or down, one, two or three to the left and zero to the right. What about the red dot were your opponent's piece and not your own? Where could the rook move? Pause this video now. That's right, the rook could move in between the dots or capture the red dot but not move beyond the dots. The rook is worth five points. Five points. Five points! It's kind of important, so I'm going to say it a few times. Five, 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 five. How many points is it worth? Test your knowledge and answer the five questions below. Pause this video now. So let's look at the answers. The top of the rook kind of looks like a castle, but don't call it that. The rook sits in the corner of the chessboard. It moves in straight lines, forwards, backwards, to the left and to the right. You can never take your own piece. And it's worth five points. So there you have it. We finished. That's the rooks. Next video is on the bishops. So I'll see you there.